Hi there, today we are talking about one of the most common hair care mistakes that many of us are guilty of, not rinsing out all of our shampoo. And I'm sure some of you are thinking like, Tabitha, really? But let me tell you, I see a lot of scalps under the dermoscope and I see images like this. This small thing can have big consequences for your scalp and hair health. Let's talk about why it matters, what can happen if you skip this crucial step, and how to ensure that your hair is squeaky clean every time you wash. So why is not rinsing out all of the shampoo such a big deal? Leaving shampoo residue on your scalp and hair can lead to a lot of issues. Shampoo is designed to cleanse your hair and scalp, removing dirt, oil, and product buildup. However, if not rinsed out thoroughly, it can leave behind a film that cause serious problems. And if your shampoo is full of ingredients that cause inflammation if left on the scalp, then you have even more problems. So why does this matter? Shampoo residue can irritate your scalp, leading to itchiness, redness, and even flaking. Over time, this can disrupt the delicate balance of your scalp's microbiome, leading to more severe issues like dandruff and dermatitis. This can be a really big problem when you go and get your hair colored. Ever have a hair color? same color you've had for years and all of a sudden you have some itching or burning that you had never had before might be an interaction of your shampoo and the color com combination on your scalp. Leftover shampoo can accumulate, causing your hair to look dull and feel heavy. This buildup can also clog hair follicles, potentially leading to slower hair growth or even hair loss. If your scalp is covered in shampoo residue, it can block the absorption of other hair care products like your hair loss topicals. This means you're not getting the full benefits of products that you're applying. Some of my hair loss clients who are on scalp topicals and they say things like, I don't think it's working come in and they have so much buildup around their hair follicles. We end up doing a couple scalp treatments to clear it out and their topicals start working again. How is the topical supposed to get where it needs to go if the passageway is blocked? So how can you make sure that you're rinsing out all of your shampoo? When rinsing, part your hair in sections to ensure that water reaches every part of your scalp. This is especially important for those with thick hair or just a lot of fine hair and you need to pull it apart and feel that water hitting your skin. Make sure that you feel the water hitting your scalp directly. This ensures that the water is washing away all the shampoo and not just the surface suds. A removable shower head works wonders if you're getting water right onto your scalp, just like we do in the salon. It allows you to directly um, direct the water exactly where it needs to go. Once you think you've rinsed enough, rinse one more time. You can even make this a cool rinse to close the cuticle. And that's it. I'd love to hear what I can help with you next, whether it's about helping your clients or improving your work life as a hairstylist. I'm here to help.